Hey everyone, Ashley May here with the Daily Racing Forum. Great card this Saturday at Santa Anita Park and their fifth race is the grade two Charlie Whittingham mile and a quarter on the turf for four-year-olds and upward. And while it's not a huge field, the talent is certainly there. It's a field of seven. We'll look at the field right now. And uh, the big two uh, in here, I would say, are the number six, Master of Foxhounds and the seven Gold Phoenix, who are stable mates, different owners, but they are both in the Phil D'Amato barn and even a couple others in here. Some really talented horses such as Dicey Mochara and Opry towards the inside. So I think this is a great race. Uh, it is only seven runners, but the talent, as I mentioned, is certainly there. So we'll dive right in with the number one, Opry. Uh, this one's going to be ridden again by Frankie DeTori, who climbed aboard this horse for the first time most recently in the grade three, San Marcos. And we'll take a look at that race from February 5th. Now, uh, looking at the trip that Opry ends up getting in here, uh, with all said and done, I think he runs well. He's the number three in here. The number two is Master of Foxhounds, the seven, Dicey Mochara. So a very key race for all these horses. And just kind of looking at how this unfolds, you can see the two right now, Master of Foxhounds on the lead. And, and Opry's really trying to be game here and dig in in the final stages. And he'll be game to the wire here and try to get it up there for second, but he's unable to do so. He does finish third in here. He was not beaten by much in that race. And for me, the big thing is when you go down the page, uh, he had mainly gone a mile, a mile and a 16th. There was that gradual stretch out where two starts back. He did go a mile and an eighth, but it was his first time going a mile and a quarter in some time. And I know this horse had gone kind of in these marathon turf races in the past and it had been all right in those races. But I just think the way that they did it was a really nice progression. Now he's just going to go his second start in a row at a mile and a quarter and just his third career start out the distance. So I think there's upside for him. As I mentioned, Frankie DeTore stays aboard. I think that's a great sign. And he has some really nice drills. He's actually got a bullet workout coming into this. The fastest of 34 workers at the five furlong distance on April 2nd, 59 flat. So uh, I think he's an intriguing one in this spot. Now the number two, Dicey Mochara has been a really fun horse to watch. A four-time winner from 18 starts, but he does have seven second and third place finishes combined. And looking at his races, he uh, did race in that race as well, was in the San Marcos prior to that, did have a win in the San Gabriel and won very nicely. Now that was going a mile and an eighth. So just looking at his races, I want to take a quick look here at his other mile and a quarter performance back on October 1st, 2022. You can see in kind of this race here, again, similar horses, the number four master. Foxhounds is on the lead. Gold Phoenix is the one. And Dicey Mochara is the three in here. And just kind of look at this performance in the end. Uh, he's striding home nicely where everyone's trying to play a game of catch me if you can with Master of Foxhounds. And I just really like the way that Dicey Mochar was able to kick on in the stretch here. And to me, um, just comes up a neck short, almost a winning performance. It's the big thing with him. Uh, I think the thing that helped him in that race, he's a little bit closer to the pace than he usually is early on. Sometimes I think he's a little too far back. So just kind of looking at the pace scenario here on Saturday, I would hope that he would be slightly closer and a bit more in touch with the field. The number three, Midnight Joe Star. This is a horse was a winner last out. And this is maybe the other Phil D'Amato horse in this field. And this horse in his first start of 2023 was able to win at a mile and a quarter distance. And he had primarily raced at a mile, occasionally a mile and an eighth and was able to get a really nice trip. Now, the big thing with him, he's obviously jumping up into deeper waters. So other horses in here are kind of stakes regulars and making those appearances. He's going to be getting that test for class. Uh, but to see the way he was able to kind of turn things around so far this year compared to last year, last year he was 0 for 6 in terms of wins. So nice to see him get in the winner's circle last out. The number four, Awfully Naughty, is a horse also coming into this race off a win. Except for that was at Turfway Park on their synthetic surface. And then this horse was much the best, got a 91 buyer speed figure, which is a career best equal for him. He won by almost six lengths. Now, another one that's going to get tested for class a bit on Saturday, jumping up has only been kind of go down the page in stakes competition most recently would have been March of 2022 in that grade three event. He's another one. I think the big thing that worked out for him is that a mile and a quarter at Turfway Park, he was able to kind of get the job done. Uh, the distance suited him well. And in the past, though, at a mile and a half, it seems like he's either gotten caught late or he's had work to do late. So he's a little inconsistent in terms of his form. Johnny V's going to climb back aboard, was aboard him several times so far in his career. And uh, just going down the page, Dicey Mochara has beaten him several times, so just something to note. The number five, Uncoming. This is a horse who's just been denied in several of his last starts. You can see last time was second, missed by a head at a mile. Prior to that was third. Um, he's one that has a really nice closing kick in the stretch, but typically 
does not get the job done. And that's kind of reflected in his two for 18 career record. Now I will say again, he's going to get tested for class. I will say, excuse me, that he does also have that ability to be closer to the pace. We actually saw that two starts back going a mile and an eighth and those mile races, he was pretty much dead last early on, but when kind of called upon, he could be closer if the pace is slow. And I just don't see the pace being what it was two starts back. So um, oncoming is going to really need to step up against this group. The number six, Master of Foxhounds. Uh, this horse has been a really fun one to watch over the years. He's a six-year-old son of Warfront who really sometimes tries to steal it on the front end and just gets a little leg weary in the end or he's able to get the job done and wanted to show his most recent race, which I don't think was at his best distance, a mile. And that was in the Frank Kilrow, uh, the grade one event. And you can see he was forwardly placed in here, kind of chasing the pace setter. And he ends up tiring here in the stretch. Um, he's just not going to be able to get the job done against this group. It's a key race for, you know, him and, and a few others in here. And you just look at the kick that you're going to see now, now from the number one, Golden Phoenix, who's Gold Phoenix ends up getting the job done here very impressively. And I think the big thing is he got tired going a mile. Um, the fractions are a little faster when you're going a mile compared to his other races at a mile and a quarter and a mile and an eighth. So uh, the one thing I will say, it was his first time that he was out, out of the money, excuse me, on the Santa Anita Park turf course. Um, prior to that, uh, he had been very impressive and he does like the mile and a quarter distance. So I think his speed is best suited kind of going those longer distances. He's able to at least hold on for a share. Now, rounding out the field, the number seven, Gold Phoenix. We just saw how impressive he was in that race on March 4th. And prior to that, they tried him in the Breeders' Cup turf. He had some other really big performances in grade two events out in California. And he's been very fun to watch in his career. Now, he doesn't have as many starts as these other horses in here. He's four for 11 lifetime, but a really consistent horse. His only off the board finish was in the grade one Breeders' Cup turf. And He's put in some monster efforts. So just making a second start off that freshening, he looks like he's poised to make a really big performance this Saturday. That's the field of seven. I was torn between two horses in here. I thought the number six, Master of Foxhounds, was one to look at as well as the number seven, Gold Phoenix. And for me, I actually want Master of Foxhounds on top. I just think his early speed plays to him well. I think he had excuses last time out going that short and distance of a mile. So excited to see him stretch out back to a mile and a quarter, but I will say the number seven gold Phoenix is going to give him a run for his money because he was ultra impressive last time out. And then from there, I touched upon the number one Opry. I thought this horse was kind of sneaky in this spot because that most recent effort going a mile and a quarter, I thought was better in the replay than it looks necessarily on paper. And I think he could certainly step up and then rounding it out. He's the number two Dicey Mochara who's going to need some pace to run at in the final stages. Good luck.